Thank you. 
I obviously adore this area because it talks about Canada. So that's, you know, that's my favorite Mozart area. I thought you would look at me like Canada, but you know, it's fine. So I take it personal. No. Um, it's, I think this suits you perfectly. And you definitely tell a story, which is great. And you use the words brilliantly. And I think you can go even further in your vocal colors. Mm -hmm. But they will go probably with a little more about phrasing in your case. Because I think you have a very um, organized here way of knowing which verse you're going to do that color. But it feels to me like it's now a little too per block. Mm -hmm. And you can probably play within the same phrase more with the character. So. In order to do this, would you consider taking it just a notch slower? We can try. Yeah, because I think this is one of the great things about this area. He has a lot to say in all of this, and he can play. And we can be more specific with just slightly slower. Okay. So let's try. Yum. Because, you know, you ended up when it's the, uh, the, the presto at the end. In one. So, that means this. So not faster than this. Let's, okay. let's try it. Okay. <coughs> okay, good. That's, that's a good start. This guardo. I think... Right away, you have to have your most handsome notes, okay? And now you let it go a little bit. Oh. Guardo, you know, guardo. Try to just give it just the full beauty without cutting it off so abruptly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, that's great. And I, I loved your Osguardo. I mean, I, I don't know if I was the only one to hear a difference, but I think that was like, oh, what a nice voice. And everybody, then it's, it's funny because it's all about look, look at him, look at me, look at everything. But it's more like, listen to me. And then you draw the audience to you. Um, two things. You do, yo gelo, yo ardo. It's very, that's what I mean. It's very organized, but uh -huh. try to feel in between the dot, dot, dot okay. more. Tutto dice, yo gelo, yo ardo. The story continues while Michal is keeping it alive. And that's going to give you a longer line. And speaking of longer line, idol mio, now you start very strong on it. Instead of just taking advantage that you had things by bar. And then this one is idol mio pieta. So a four bar phrase. Mm -hmm. So starting less on idol. One more time. This is much better. What you did, though, <laughs> however, by continuing the story in your mind, you, you, you changed the rhythm. You did io gelo, io ardo. So you need, but then, but before this, I just want to hear you sing on A. Ah. Okay, just there. Okay, it's better. Try to start piano, the first note. No, 
world. So it is legato very much. So whenever you put the words, try to apply it with this sense of phrase because you have it and it's gorgeous when you do it. Otherwise it feels, I mean, you have a, a big voice and this is great and we need this and you have the projection, but we have to be careful, especially in Mozart, not to feel that you give us all the goods. Mm -hmm. So when you do, me, oh, it's like in your face a bit, like here's my voice on F, here's my voice on G, and it's great. So don't get me wrong, it's actually very interesting for Guglielmo because it's actually very masculine and you know, mm -hmm. like, but it's, you have such an elegance, you can use it even more. Last time the beginning, we continue. <clears throat> Now, back off. Perfect. Good. This to me, is it more difficult for you to do this no. or no, no, no? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, no, that's good. No. Great, that's great. That's what I want to hear. So, but am I wrong or that's more interesting? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, of course, I paid them to say that. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I bribed them. No, but I think it is great. It's just because you have it. Then when you get to this E, on everybody's listening. But if you have given everything before, you understand what I mean. Um, and I love that you dare to say, oh, oh, Orlando. And by being it slightly slower, you can do more with this. So, and, and it's a bit more playable. And not that you have any difficulty fla faster, but I mean, it's just also more interesting for the, all the strings. Okay, so from a triam, 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 Orlando. Yeah. And this time was great because you also were a little bit more rhythmically on the non e niente because I love that color that you do with more nasal. But it, it was so generic rhythmically the first time that I wouldn't have known if your fellow pal, Polish guy, didn't know where you, 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 you were, I would have been insecure. So this okay. non e niente, non e niente, a little bit more uh, precise like this. Now, you obviously know that it's innamorato and you give us a really double N, you give us maybe even six N there, which is great. But then I don't feel that you're using it as much for the love, uh -huh. you know, so. Inna, inna. So actually, if you try to do it less hard and more uh, voiced, mm -hmm. in the n, it's gonna give us even one more layer. Okay. okay. So last time for the riem riem, oh no, Orlando. Orlando. Good. Good. <laughs> okay, good, good. So this is all very good and I feel that you're just relaxing your phrase a bit more and I love it. I love it. I think just so Mozart. 
a few things in that sense to go further. So on the Foco EMEA, even if you want to be direct on Foco, uh, it's actually, now I hear, son di foco miei, sospiri. I hear a little bit this way, the very, 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 and it deprives us from your best area of voice, which is normal for a baritone, which is D. So, son di foco beti, or let time to open it up instead of just getting um, decaying. And then, che li uguali, ah, ali. Non si trova. You do it almost like a triplet now. Uh -huh. Guali non si trova, no trova, viena, okay. But A little bit more rhythmical there will help. So just from um, son di fo, from the beginning of the bar. Can you just take a sip of water because I'm like dry. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. It's Canadian weather. <laughs> It's true, today it's Canadian weather, so I get it. So, well, yeah, yeah let, let's do the turn, 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 Of a, a, a mistake here. Canada. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so just <laughs> there. And trust still the t tempo that's a little slower. It's going to be better for your line and we can enjoy your voice more. So just from the. <laughs> <laughs> The rest was all great. What I want to get at is the when you do C si gentile is ne, nello piede. You know, I would not slow down this gentleman here. So, so because it uh -huh. it's sort of telegraphing the surprise, and people love to see the the foot that you did and everything. But then um, you did a right. You did slow down at 105. Yeah. And it's not necessary, really. I find so. Uh, start, please, Michel. Good enough. Elegant, you can be a little funnier with this. Okay. It's a suggestion. Se cantia or ha. No, do something. It's rare that we have a trill in this. Uh -huh. Are you scared of it? No. Or you don't like it? <laughs> Let's try. Okay. <laughs> and then one final thing for this is to give the tempo back. I think uh -huh. it's better to do on. Ta -da -da. Okay. Really uh, uh, quickly, and the da ya da da, okay. right? I think I would be ya da da. So just from fa la se cantia directly. Let's finish it. Bella, bella, take a photo, take a photo. Okay, yeah, in 
the so bella bella bam pa pam pa yeah. yeah so m oh sorry <laughs> che m bella bella ta 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 tengo solo tengo solo se ne vanno se ne vanno se ne vanno e io mi godo e mi godo e mi godo e lo Oh. 